Hello, I'm Trinitim, and welcome to Let's Play Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander. Uh, so Halcyon 6 is a strategy type RPG where you have a space station, you've got to build up the space station, go around and collect resources, and also at the same time fight off pirates and aliens and griblies and whatever else is out there. Uh, it's very much done in a sort of a JRPG fashion, so you've got like a maximum of three ships per fleet for reasons. Uh, and then they have all of the special abilities and attacks that sort of synergize with each other, and you'll see as we go along. So let's just dive in and do a new game, and I'll explain. So main campaign, not tutorial. Command difficulty, which is like the middle difficulty. Uh, this is the way it's meant to be played. Let's we'll start the game. A few listed controls in the options menu. Thank you. Choose your first officer. Okay, so basically the way that the uh, officer and class system works for this game is it's like based on Star Trek. You've got science, you've got tactical, and you've got engineering. Uh, we're going to pick uh, tactical. Um, science is much more about like healing and stuff. Engineering is more about having certain abilities that take you know, over time and afflict certain statuses. Uh, kind of broad strokes, but we're going to go for tactical for our first officer. So uh, Corbain Lau, you're going to get renamed. Tactical is the most daring and quick thinking officers in the Federation. Their power repertoire consists of sneak attacks, immobilization attacks, and combo attacks, while their buff powers can often add aim and damage boost to friendly units. In space combat, tactical officers are able to command tactical ships. Really, you don't say. Which are the hardest hitting of the three classes of warships. Okay, so let's confirm. Uh, with all the recent events, we need to create a short brief of you and ignore, because it's kind of like uh, a semi-mini tutorial at the beginning. We should directly promote a new officer from the ranks. I've prepared a list of super officers for you to choose from. And we're going to choose... Ooh, engineering is tempting. What have you got? So you've got certain powers in space combat, and you've got certain powers on ground combat, because you also have to do, like, away missions and stuff. Uh, so what have you got here? I'm thinking engineering to, like, complement our tactical. Bro uh, so Broadside Salvo makes you vulnerable. 40% chance of inflicting the vulnerable status on you. However, it does do extra damage, and it does two-thirds damage for three rounds afterwards, which is pretty cool. Uh, Polarity, Supercharge, which damages all enemies, and then does damage over time. And then a single ally repair. That's really good. For a, our, like, just second person, that's really good. Because we've got someone who can heal and someone who can do mass damage at the same time as doing damage over time. I like that. I'm going to select you. We will rename you. You're going to be named Fatal Phantom Ace. However, that is actually a bit long. We're going to have to, like, truncate that to fit it on. There we go. Phantom Ace. Also, my kitty is attacking the sofa. Bad kitty. The space sofa is, like, expensive. It's actually not. Uh, Ready to work, Commander. Just point me in the right direction. Thank you, Phantom Ace. Right, so, uh, welcome to Halcyon 6. This is our space station here. It's kind of like an alien space station that we've kind of got hold of. A bit like the Citadel or something from Mass Effect. And we're kind of exploring it, opening up new rooms, etc. This is the new Terran Federation. Uh, where, apparently... Everybody's just died. Um, basically what's happened is that a rift has opened in space. And the Chul... Chul South Portal. Chul Fleet. The Chul have come out of it. Basically, they're like Tyranids. And they've gone around and destroyed all of the Federation, except for us. We are all that is left of the Federation. Also, there are pirates. Because, of course, you know, what else would there be? So, what we're going to do, we're going to build up and get ready to go out into the world and reclaim the Federation. So, this is a space base. You can see that we've got rooms to explore and conquer. So, let's start going through these. So, very much like XCOM or something, um, you can assign officers to do digging. Estimated days, two days. And we'll assign an officer over here. Three days. And then they will go around and they'll dig through there and they'll be like, look, I found some resources. Oh, and also you can now use this to build stuff in. Uh, we'll also buy ourselves a new ship, because we currently have, if we go to ship management, a tactical starship, the Rogue. This is a tactical starship for a tactical officer. We don't, however, have a engineering ship, so let's grab ourselves an engineering ship. The only one we can currently build is the Knight, which has flak barrage, deconstruct, and shock mines as abilities. And it'll cost us 60 crew and 400 dark matter. You only got like four results in this game. Crew, material, dark matter, and fuel. So we're going to just build one of these. It'll take three days. Yeah. Uh, and then, I think we are good for now. There's also research, but we'll get to research in a bit. By the way, if it sounds like I know what I'm doing, I do. 
for the first like 20 minutes I've recorded this episode. This is the third time I'm trying to record this episode. I've also played the game in just about an hour and a half, just to see I know what's going on. So, you know, I'm somewhat competent. Don't worry, I'm saving all the incompetence for late game. So we will hit play. We've cleared that section you asked for. Okay, uh, show location. And let's build ourselves a Deal 3 reactor. Each reactor produces an additional 20 power per day. So at the moment you see we're using 60 of 60 power. We don't have any power spare. To build any more rooms, we need power. So we're going to build a reactor. And get ourselves 20 extra power. Um, and since you are currently free, would you mind awfully exploring this room? We've cleared out another section you asked for. Show location. Okay, so we've got other rooms that we can build, like Dark Matter Multiplier, which increases the amount of uh, Dark Matter we get from missions by 15%. Same for materials. I don't think we want those. What we need is the ability to recruit extra officers, for which we need an officer training school. Speaking of which, by the way, we need to rename you. You are now Back Demon. Uh, if you're wondering what the names come from, they are from the Patreon list. So patrons at a certain tier get to have the names chucked in games randomly. Uh, I've gone and randomized a load of names off of there, and they were in a lovely list, 175 long. Uh, if you're wondering why your name hasn't appeared, that might be why. Uh, right. So, this is the Starship Hangar. This can upgrade ships and make them, like, slightly better, etc. Uh, we might do that. It's actually very tempting. We've got quite a lot of dark matter. What else? We need to be able to build an officer training school. Officer Academy, there we go. Uh, so, this is a way to get more officers. And it will cost us 300 material to research and 200 dark matter. That's kind of expensive. And then of course we need to build it, which is gonna cost us more after that. Uh, however, in the short term, I think what we need is actually the fuel plant. So currently we get fuel at a rate of one per day, and we also get fuel by going to places on the map. However, to go to places on the map, you need fuel. And to get materials, you need fuel. And to get dark matter and crew, you need fuel because you go and pick them up from places on the map. So having extra fuel really does help. So if we get the fuel plant, uh, we can, get more fuel. So effectively we get one fuel per day at the moment. If we get this, we get two fuel per day. So we will research this and you just research instantly. Bam. Done. You don't actually have to like spend time researching. But to build it, we're going to need 110 more material. So once you're done with your digging, we're going to send out the fleet. Ooh, the Nightclass Starship is ready. And we'll assign Phantom Ace to it. And also, because I've run into a bug here, I'm going to save the game. Yes, I would like to overwrite. Save. Save complete. Uh-oh. Starbase exploration event. Your exploration team has found something disturbing. Uh, a crazy site, a previously undiscovered amorphous molluscoid with large incisions across its exposed hindquarters. The incisions suggest a leecher presence in the area. Hunt them down. Your crew bravely pledges to seek out the poor molluscoid's killers. Okay, so welcome to ground combat. Juvenile leecher soldier. Space monster. And this is the back demon who discovered them. Let's add an officer. And because Phantom Ace is currently just sitting in the night class starship, we can call Phantom Ace in to help out. And then because we don't have another soldier, well, we don't have another officer, we can just call in a cadet. Think of them as red shirts, because they're probably going to die. Deploy officers. Spiky twirl! Ow. Okay, right, so what do we have? Uh, we have, like, abilities here. So we've got phaser blast, precision shot, shrapnel grenade, and point blank. Notice that a lot of them do exploit and inflict. So, exploit confused. If the person is confused when you use it, it'll do bonus damage. This one inflicts bleeding. It'll inflict the bleeding chance on 6% roll. So, you get the idea. Um, what we want to do is try and get something that then one of you can use. So, if we right click on you, anything exploits. Exploits afflicted? Mm, I don't think we've got afflicted, do we? No, so nothing here for us to exploit. What do you have? Inflicts afflicted. Exploits shocked. Do we have a shock? No, so for now we're just going to have to inflict a load of stuff. I'm going to inflict blinded. Critical, crit, I, I for critical hits, hell yeah. Um, and we then want to do inflicts exposed, because I believe you've got something that exploits exposed. Hell, that's a lot of damage. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Uh, let's inflict 
Afflicted, which I believe you've got same exploits. Uh, resisted the status, so the status didn't take effect. However, you are now bleeding, which results in 36 damage over three rounds. Mm, that's not good. Uh, right, well, let's go for the kill. So we've got four, like, HP left, so... What's our, like, highest hit chance? Either precision shot or point blank. I like the idea of going in point blank. Oh, actually, that exploit's exposed. It's already exposed. Precision shot it is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got ourselves some rewards. And you have leveled up. Sweet. Okay, so now you've leveled up. We've got a skill point we can spend. We can get uh, supercharge, which makes us vulnerable, but it supercharges our weapons. We've got fire at will, which makes ourselves vulnerable, but we get fire at will and we get engines down the enemy. Backstab maneuver, which inflicts ship disable. Yeah, backstab maneuver is amazing. Uh, ship disable, totally up for getting some of that. Success, Commander. Not only did our exploration force rid this location of the Leech Radiance, but they were able to secure the portal from which the Molluscoids must have arrived. It yielded a surprising amount of dark matter. We get 85 dark matter. That's not bad. And you haven't actually leveled up. There we go. Uh, I believe you're still digging, so we're going to fast forward until you're done. Okay, I'm going to acknowledge that. Oh, you've got promoted as well. Sweet! Okay, so this is Supercharged Polarity, which does damage to all enemies and then over rounds. Um, repair Drone, which is to heal. And Salvo, which is the single enemy and then over rounds. Um, I think we should get a heal for now. But I do want all of those. Those are pretty useful. Okay, how are we doing for fuel? 23. Yeah, set up the fleet. So, we've got a load of stuff up here. So we've got stuff like Cat's Eye, which create dark matter. These are pulsars. We've got um, Cadonia, which is an asteroid field, which creates materials. And then we've got like star systems, which are planetary, like Delta Virginia, which create people because they've got colonies there. Or at least in theory they do. Then you've got like nebulas that have uh, warp fuel, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to send up a fleet to here, grab some warp fuel here, and then just ping pong beneath these asteroid fields and see if we can get some materials out of them. So since this is really close, we'll send the fleet to the Ghost Head Nebula. And we want... The Rogue and the Knight. And this fleet will be called uh, First Fleet. Don't think we need a fancy name for it. Launch. We made contact with a fuel refinery at Ghost Head, patching you through now. Commander, you can't imagine how good it is to see a friendly face. We're all feeling a little hopeless until we caught your fleet signal. Now, Commander, though it's a nice view, my crew and myself would much rather prefer to be transferred to a little less precarious location. Say, that station of yours, of course. We'll stay here as long as you need us to produce our fuel. Okay, so basically you can evacuate the facility. If you do, you get crew. But they will no longer produce resources. I actually want the resources. So I'm going to transfer the five fuel to the fleet. And then I'm going to leave them there. And we're going to head on. Uh, so we can head on to some of these. The problem is, I don't want to head on to all of them. Because actually stopping and starting each time takes quite a lot of fuel. Plus distance. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll hit up here, which is going to take us eight fuel. Probably get five. The retinas online, acknowledge. Um, continue production. Transfer six fuel. And then I think we'll start hitting up these asteroid fields. So send the fleet to here. We were another one of those alien things. Nice to see. See, with only one E. A friendly human face. Instead, my crew we standing and they thought they were only humans left. Blah, 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 blah. We'd like to go to the station, etc. Uh, let's take the minerals and then leave the system because we want those minerals. And let's go see if there's someone here. Uh, the mine is in ruins? Ah. Well, that's a shame. Okay, let's send the fleet here then. While traveling, we found eight crews stranded in space. Eh, not bad. Fuel refinery, continue production, transfer 16 fuel. Ooh, that's not bad. Three per day. That's a good fuel refinery. I think the other one down here was like two. Okay. Okay. 
Now, we should have enough to produce a fuel refinery when we go back. Um, but for now, since you are, like, really close by, we will pop here. See if they've got any crew. The colony. I'm not lying to you, Manor. Our colony was just about on the brink of collapse, but now that you're in charge, I should be able to shore up supporting it. My colony's in back much more reasonable state. And we'd prefer to be on the station. Uh, we're going to transfer the crew. And then leave the system. We found 17 fuel. We'll That's a lot of fuel to actually just find. We found the arrival at the site of a Terran fuel refinery that seems to be invaded by aliens. There's no distress signal being brought. Uh, it's safe to assume it's dead. Since the trawl are organic, they likely have little use of fuel. If we send an away team to the refinery, we might be able to get some of the fuel back. Okay. So we get a chance to do like an away team mission to try and grab the fuel. Let's do it. <gasps> it is a fledgling trawl lava. Hello, Terranid. We're going to add a cadet. Poor cadet. And deploy. Okay. So what do you have? Inflict shock. Exploits afflicted. Okay. Well, let's open up with making you wounded over rounds. Evaded. No! Oh, we evaded though, so eh, it happens. Um, personal magnetism. Not sure about that one. Haymaker. Exploits afflicted. Inflicts exposed. So let's inflict exposed for the drone takedown. There we go. So now it's exposed and we should be able to do more damage. Let's inflict shocked as well. There we go. Precision shot. Exploits exposed. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Look at that amount of damage. Yeah, that's that's not enough. You're going to die. Haymaker. Haymaker. Boom. Punched it to death. That's how we roll. And we got stuff. Yay! I like stuff. And we got 63 units of fuel. Yeah! That's a good amount of fuel. I I, I approve of that amount of fuel. <laughs> Straight up. We can stay out for a little bit longer. There's something moving in the storage bays. Everything's dead, but the level of interference suggests that there's stored dark matter is still inside. Okay, so, yeah, let's beam down to the surface and do another waiting mission. Juvenile Trawl Spiker. Okay. Uh, deploy officers. And, yeah, we'll heal with five dark matter. Oh, wow. Ow. Damn, look at that. Nearly dead already. Okay, I'm going to inflict blinded on you. Critical hit. That is just what I needed. Also inflict exposed. Please, live long enough to be able to survive. Exploits blinded. <gasps> yes. Oh. You made yourself rabid. And you went to critical condition. So, um, this is another thing about the game. You don't die when you get to zero HP. You go to critical condition. What happens is if you take any damage in critical condition, you die. However, you can survive going to zero. So if you're on like one HP and someone hits you for like a million, it doesn't matter. You still just go to zero. So you are now in critical condition. And this is the point where you can heal someone and they'll go back to having HP and you'll be fine. Uh, that said, it is just a cadet. So eh, they're kind of like the red shirts. Right. You have 125% hit chance and you exploit exposed. You are exposed. Uh, is it exposed or vulnerable? I don't know. Exposed, I think. But whatever, you've got 9 HP, let's just kill you. Murdered. We got 61 case of dark matter. He keeps telling me we should return to the starbase. No. We probably should soon. This is pushing on luck a little bit. It's in ruins. Shame. Okay, um. I want to try and hit up these for materials on the way back. We'll go here because it's right next door. That's some ruins. Okay. Materials from Ryan is in ruins. Okay, so basically a lot of stuff in ruins. Got that. Okay. Um, should we build that 
refinery I was talking about. Probably. I don't think we need anyone there to build the refinery. Fuel plant. There we go. Continue production. We'd want the materials. New system. Um, yeah, we'll take the small detail to go here. It's going to cost us like three fuel, so. And that's in ruins. Hi, Colony. I would like the crew. Leave system. I'm glad we don't have like a limit on how much we can carry. It's rendered the worst by the Chul. Oh, they were due to send a large shipment of materials to New Terra. It could be still in storage. Yes, beam to refinery. Deploy, and I would like to use the 21 to heal them. Okay. Oh god, look at it. This is like 140 HP. That's quite a lot. Uh, what have you got in the way of abilities? Inflicts exposed, exploits blinded. So let's blind you. Phaser blast. You can make them exposed to the drone. Oh, you're in critical condition already. Let's exploit the blinded. And then let's exploit exposed. You got this. Oh, yeah. How do you even have a cadet die yet? It's because we rock. 74 material. Okay, we should consider, consider returning to the star base. Yeah, we'll consider it, but no. Uh, ooh, hello, Dark Matter Extractor. Leave system. And I think this is probably a good place to head home. Uh, so click on you, return home. Oh, hello. The fuel plant is now online. And yeah, got a whole load of stuff there. Nice haul. However, look what's just happened. Troll Colony Raid Fleet. They're going to the uh, Pulsar here, Aether, yeah. So, they're going to attack that and, like, destroy it, and if we don't defend it. Yeah, it's not terrible. There's only two ships there, instead of, like, three, which is, like, the max in a fleet, but one of them is, like, nearly a thousand HP. So, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be fun, but I think what we'll do is we will try and defend that Pulsar if we can, because it's one that's nice and close, you know, it doesn't take much sure to get there. And although Dark Matter isn't as important to us right now, I think that we could definitely do with grabbing that. So next episode, I think we're going to try and uh, defend Aita from the advances of the Tyranid Scum. But until then, if you have liked, please remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing, especially since it is a new series and is a new show for the channel. Uh, so definitely like important to get your feedback in, see if you like it or not. And uh, yeah, do let me know, like, subscribes, and of course, the comments down below will really help with that, see if you really like it. But until next time... Stay shiny.